Hi and welcome to Cubase 4 Tutorials. My name is Mickey and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to record guitar dry and wet signals and using track presets with internal plugins. I'm going to create in the VST connections, I'm going to go to input tab and create a mono bus. Rename it right away as a guitar. Dedicate the analog one input on my interface and right away create two mono tracks. I'm going to name one GT Dry and the second one will be GT Wet. Okay. So first we're going to make sure that our input is GT, that mono, also here. Fine. I'm going to press monitor so I can hear my guitar. All right, but now that's pretty much dry and just a uh, guitar plug directly into the interface. So I want to go here to track presets and explore a different presets. That's part of the media bay and it's really awesome that you can actually go through categories and find exact preset for your instrument that you want to record. So if you choose the guitar you're narrowing down and you have a subcategory of electric guitar you're narrowing down exactly what type of presets you want to use by style by character if it's available all right i'm gonna go for this funky phaser do the auto preview i like that because it works right away let me switch to country boy It's instantaneous. Amazing. So, funky 70s. Arm the recording on the track and let's get going. All right, that's plenty. Uh, let's hear what we've done. So as you can see, I have my all my plugins here. If I bypass them, this is what we have. All right, well, let's take a look at our mixer. This is the signal side, basically input side, the input channel and just the dry signal coming in, right? Uh, on the playback side, I have the track preset loaded, which is consisted of amp, simulator, phaser and limiter plugin, right? So my mixer is basically a place where I need to be looking for it when I'm recording because this will be one of the references actually how loud am I recording into the Cubase not actually how loud am I listening to it. In order to hear these plugins I need to have my monitor on. So the computer is processing at the same time. Uh, in order to have this working properly we need to go to the device setup and and really choose proper settings in, in terms of latency for our interface to actually help us out so, so we don't feel weird playing a guitar and, and hearing the sound coming in late. So anywhere between, you know, 1.5 and then 6, 7 milliseconds, you're fine for the guitar. The lower latency, you know, the better feel, definitely. So that's printed dry, and I'm going to mute that Actually, I'm going to let it play and I'm going to actually record on top with my wet recording. But this time, I'm going to go to Mixer and load on Input Channel, right? In order to print, I need to actually load my preset on the Input Channel. Let's see. 
let's hear it. All right. Okay, I'm gonna just tweak it a little bit. Okay, so you can use the EQ at the same time. Uh, although that that adds a load on the on the processing, but uh, we all have, I guess, uh, computers that are fast enough to to handle that. So let's get going. So I have recorded something here and one is actually printed. There's no plugins there. And the other one actually is dry. Which, you know, gives me an ability to basically just go and choose something else here. Right? So I don't have to commit. So, uh, so much for the track presets and dry and wet recording with the guitar. I hope you like this tutorial.